what's up welcome to your love reading for the second half of October this is for Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus um what else do you need to know <laughs> if you need a personal reading just email me um, this isn't gonna resonate for all of you if it doesn't resonate just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here also there is um, an entire month October reading posted. I don't know why I'm so, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Anyway, there is an entire month of October reading posted for you already. So check that one out if you haven't already. And if you are single, single, not in any type of a commitment whatsoever, um, this may resonate for you. It just depends how it comes out if it's singles or a couple. But there is a specific singles reading posted for October as well. So if you're single, single, you might want to check that one out too. All right, guys, here we go. I know it's dark, but you will see the cards when I read them, I promise. I just read better in the dark and it's October. So it just looks pretty. <laughs> All right, overall energy for Aries mid-October oh wow well then so you've got Maybon um, that's just what it is in this deck which is fall equinox actually so pretty cool it's a justice card in the regular tarot <coughs> all right recent past for Aries Ace of Cups, guys. Present energy for Aries. Wow. <laughs> You've got Lamas, which is another holiday, actually, but it's the Devil card. Um, this is a really witchy deck. That's why I'm using it right now. I do love it, but the cards are different than regular tarot. Same meaning though. So anyway, just know, trust me on this. This is the devil card, Capricorn energy. And I do believe you came up in Capricorn's reading. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, you might want to check that out. Although they didn't have a good reading. So maybe you don't want to. <laughs> Immediate future for Aries. Five of Cups reversed. Potential obstacle for Aries in love at mid October. The Nine of Air, Nine of Swords reversed. And advice for Aries. Oh, okay. That was quick. The Eight of Fire, AKA the Eight of Wands reversed. All right, here we go, Aries. Let's grab this deck a while. So for your overall, <laughs> that sounded funny. I don't know why I said it like that. Overall, I don't know, whatever. Whatever, it's been a long week, guys. Okay, um, so for you having Maybon here, it is the Justice card, Libra energy, but this is the energy that you yourself are taking on. For me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person I'm reading for. It's the only card in the spread that is 100% absolutely for you. Everything else in the reading can be the other person that you're dealing with or you know your surrounding energies, but this is you. So you're either, you're, you know, you're really balanced within yourself. You're trying to bring, bring balance to a situation. You might be married, you might be getting married. Um, but your situation is just, you're trying to make it really fair, really equal, really balanced, or you're already in that type of a connection. With this being Maybon though, since this is a different deck, um, fall equinox, that time period, you know, end of September, 21st, 22nd, that might be significant for you. Let's clarify that justice energy. Clarify Maybon, AKA justice for Aries. Oh, 
Oh, okay. The Queen of Pentacles reverse. So Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't matter since we're still on your energy. So it's like there's there's an energy of either a breakup here, um, possible divorce, or just kind of a lack of commitment or a lack of stability. But I think you yourself, I think it's because you're just trying to even things out, balance things out, and there might have been a breakup because of it, because you might have been, you might have thought that, you know, something wasn't equal, something wasn't fair. Um, so you're just trying to be as balanced and as fair as possible. But there is a lack of a commitment, lack of a stable relationship here. All right, now in your recent past, though, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Doesn't have to mean anything, but with the Ace of Cups, this is a new beginning. And this is your recent past. So this is probably like last week-ish or something. Um, this is either a brand new relationship that came in for you, um, or it's a rebirth of an existing one or an old one or whatever, but it is a gift from the universe. It is a new beginning in love and it's a gift from the universe. All aces are. Um, let's see what you did with it though, because now in the present you have Lamas, which is the devil energy, Capricorn energy. So there is something toxic here. Um, and it could just be like some obsession or you know, somebody's kind of living in fear or feeling like they're trapped in a situation. Could be addictive behavior, but you know, that can be anything. Like, doesn't have to be like drugs and alcohol. It can be, you know, anything done in excess. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, but it could just be like somebody's living in fear. Somebody thinks that they're stuck in a situation or somebody's really obsessing over something. Um, and you have the two of swords with that. That's air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is, it's feeling like it, there's like a stalemate energy here. Somebody's having a really hard time making a decision. Let's clarify that. Clarify the two of swords. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of cards. Clarify the two of swords for Aries. The nine of fire, which is the nine of wands. This is your energy as well as Leo and Sagittarius. But this is the feeling of being at the end of your rope. Somebody is at the end of the rope here. Somebody is real close to giving up. Still persisting, still fighting, but barely. It's the wounded warrior card. It's somebody who's, you know, been through a lot, like a whole ass battle. Um, and they're still hanging on, but just by a thread. Clarify the nine of fire, nine of wands for Aries. The seven of cups reverse, water, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's coming to uh, some sort of a clear, some sort of clarity, maybe coming out of a little bit of a fantasy world. Um, looking at the situation for exactly what it is and, you know, not what it could be or what you want it to be. If you're just somebody that's dating, that's, you know, maybe narrowing down your options or someone else's. All right. Now in the immediate future, you have the five of water, the five of cups reverse. So that's getting over past hurt. Um, like if there were things in this connection that, you know, caused some type of, of hurt, loss, guilt, remorse, regret, whatever, it's, it's moving past that. It's getting over that. It's starting to focus on the positive in the situation and not dwelling on the negative past shit that nobody can change anymore. You know, what's done is done. Um, and it's just moving past that. Clarify the Five of Cups. Reverse for Aries. The Two of Cups. So... This is a soulmate union. This is actually a hand fasting ceremony on the card, which is a pagan marriage ceremony. Um, this is when you two marry each other. You know, it, it's a divine union. Um, and it looks like it's been through some things. And it looks like there was a point where, you know, somebody was going to give up on it. But it's, you know, shit happens. Um... And it's just, I think one of you is just in the position right now where you need to make the decision whether you want to just drop it or hang on. Um, whatever it is here, whether, you know, it's this 
particular connection that ends up back this way, um, back in harmony or, or not, you have that in your future with someone. It's water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, doesn't mean that they could be a water sign, but whatever. It's the energy of the card. So you do have that, that harmonious, balanced union in your future here. Okay. You want me to clarify the two of cups? I don't think I need to, but I will. I feel like you want me to. Um, all right. Clarify the two of cups for Aries in the future. Who is this two of cups with? Who is this two of cups with for Aries in the future? Oh, okay. So it's the ace of fire, the ace of wands. So this is your energy. So could be with another fire sign. Um, doesn't have to be, but it's a super passionate connection. You now have the ace of cups and the ace of wands. So lots of love, lots of passion here. Definite, definite new beginning. And it's going to be a more passionate one than the way that it is right now. It's like a renewed passion um, or a brand new connection that is like really exciting for you, okay? All right, your potential obstacle, the nine of air reverse. It's just getting over anxiety, depression, stress, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So that, I mean, that's the only obstacle. It's just getting, it's moving past that, that hurt, that anxiety, whatever's going on here. It's just the need to move past that. Your advice, the Eight of Fire reverse, the Eight of Wands reverse. Your advice is to kind of slow it down. Um, slow it down. If you are in a long distance connection, there's probably going to be delays actually getting to the person. There might be some communication issues here. Um, but it's just, you know, slow it down a little bit. Clarify the Eight of Wands reverse for Aries. The Four of Pentacles reverse. So that's the need to let go. Whether it's letting go of a whole person or letting go of issues that you've been holding on to, um, that's going to be up to you. But it's an energy of letting go and it's an energy of opening yourself up, you know, opening your heart chakra, being emotionally available and not closed off. Okay? All right. Take care, guys.